G'day everybody. Just doing another doodle. It's um, Friday afternoon. Woohoo! And, <coughs> excuse me. Just thinking what to do. Actually, I shouldn't really be thinking. Let's just start without thinking really. I've just got a, a charcoal pencil here. Um, and I don't know how I'm going to, what else I'm going to go with but I'm just starting with this at the moment and earlier on I was just thinking about time you know um, how we we don't have enough time and you know time is of the essence and just um, sorry just got interrupted and um, yeah just talking about thinking about time and running out of time there's not enough time you know i'm gonna be late so really you know if you look at nature they all seem to be working quite fine without worrying about time without worrying about you know um having a watch or a clock or anything like that you know they just seem to be quite okay with any of it it's um wow look at this um this is really amazing because <clears throat> today i saw something on facebook and it was very very disturbing to me um and i don't even know if i should um talk about it but obviously it's coming out in my expression here which just amazes me with art therapy you know I'm not the best drawer you know as I've said before but um, the the video that I saw was quite a disturbing one it's about um, what goes on in China and they showed this um, oh my god I'm just gonna get emotional now <clears throat> I'm gonna try not to <sighs> They showed this, these cages, like so many cages, and these dogs inside them. And I've seen them before. This is like not the first time that I've seen that. But you know what? You see things, and and then it it, it kind of disturbs you, and then it's it gets out of your your mind, and then you 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 kind of um, see it again, and and so it's not the first time that I saw this but it really disturbed me because this I'm not even going to call him a person this thing pulled out this poor dog which looked so much like my dog out of this cage and started beating it across the head with 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 a piece of metal or whatever it was and knocked this poor dog out and this laid him on the ground and the dog kind of came came uh, about again and so he just kept on whacking it across the head with this with this whatever it was until he was slightly unconscious again um, and then he he had a knife in his hand and they didn't show the rest thank God I, I just couldn't watch that you know why why do these people why that it's just so inhuman to do that this is not you know something that you would do to an animal or anything i wouldn't even hurt you know an, an insect i will try and save it and it's amazing to me how my subconscious started working as soon as i got the pencil in my hand and 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 started doodling there he comes a dog and it it just upsets me so much i can't even continue with this um can somebody help me? Can somebody sh tell me a way how I can help these these animals? Like, yeah, there's there's a thing there to sign a petition. I don't think petitions work, to be honest, because these these governments they have their own rules, their own laws, and if they they torture these animals first and then they eat them, how can you eat? something that's been tortured do you think that's gonna nourish your body that you're eating an animal that's been tortured i can't understand it i just i serious i just i just don't think i can keep going i need to compose myself 
like it. I try to compose myself. But I can't. I just. I don't understand it. And I know that a lot of you will agree with me. And a lot of you will, will sympathize and empathize and all of that. But what can we do? What can we do? Can somebody suggest something? Can I write to the Chinese government? Can I write to the, you know, the uh, ambassador? Can I call them? I'd do it. How can I help? This is the question that I have for myself. How can I help? Like I have my two <clears throat> little girls laying here with me. I do this every night. I sit on the back porch and I have a glass of wine or I have a beer or something and I just uh, enjoy the time that I have with these girls. One of them is 14 years old. She's only tiny. She's like smaller than a cat. She's got so many health issues and it costs me thousands of dollars a year <clears throat> you know to keep her healthy and you know I do all kinds of things she eats better than myself I'm telling you like I, I prepare because uh, she's got a liver issue and a pancreas issue so I make sure that she eats right and so she has organic breast chicken breast and vegetables and rice or you know some different grain every week something different to keep her healthy and um, it's working well I actually took her off medication month, medications months ago and she is thriving well, thriving you know she's doing really really well and then I have a younger girl um, who is my mum's dog but <coughs> she's my dog as well you know and now that mum's you know overseas for four months I, I look after her and uh, she's only about four years old both of them were rescued and a lot of people out there do the same things they are part of our family animals are part of our family and you look after them I have a parrot who has been with me since 2006 she her name is Chippy she was injured okay she was wild and she got injured and I nursed her and then by the time she was ready to be you know released back into the wild my vet told me not to do it because she wouldn't survive she got too used to being cared for so I still have her and she's doing really well I have a bearded dragon who's hibernating at the moment he's also rescued and also being looked after really well and it just it hurts my heart I'm telling you I'm so disturbed I am so disturbed by seeing that and even as a therapist you know I'm still human with emotions you know and I just it's so hard to understand I, I can't even start to understand what goes on with these people you know how can they do it how can they do that to these poor animals innocent animals and then go back to their families, go back and cuddle their kids. What do they tell them? What, what could you possibly say? How was your day, Dad? Oh, great. I just bashed, you know, about a hundred dogs across the head and then slid their throat and prepared them for a meal. What, really? I can't understand that. I, I, I'm sorry. And like I said, this is not the first time that I've <coughs> seen this. But for some reason it's really affecting me and um, I want to do something about it. I'm angry. I'm freaking pissed off. I, I want to do something. Can somebody tell me how to go about this the smart way? You know? I'm just really emotional at the moment. Um, this is not just one animal. This happens every day. And it's not just China. It's Thailand. Probably other countries. This happens. Why? Are you that hungry? 
that you have to kill a dog like that, torture it first, keep it in a cage with other dogs, you know, why? What for? I would just, I would eat grass if I had to. I would just, you know, well, why? These are the questions and there's a lot of people probably who are going to comment and say, you know, you get a hold of yourself and all that. I'm fine. I'm going to be fine. This is just, I'm expressing this. I am opening up myself and my feelings and everything to all of you now. Okay. And I know that most of you are going to come back and tell me something and, and just agree with me. Um, like I said, this has been happening for so many years. This is not something new. But I don't know if it's um, talked about enough. Do you know, you see it on Facebook. A lot of us, you know, see it and we're disgusted and we put a comment on there and then we move on. But nothing is really done because I have signed a petition a couple of years ago and nothing is still done. So I don't think these petitions work. We need to do something else. I'm going to try and calm myself down now. And I know because, you know, everything you see, feel, hear, everything that you really accept, you know, and acknowledge uh, in your day, it gets processed in your subconscious and then you you dream of it at night and sometimes you forget your dreams and sometimes you don't you're wondering um, what was that dream all about and I know I'm gonna have some really bad dreams um, because this has affected me so much so I'm gonna try and bring myself down down and um, try to finish that drawing and maybe turn it into a positive one okay okay so I've got my little doggy here <clears throat> I'm gonna try and turn this into a, a beautiful beautiful happy environment for this uh, little creature little living being so I'm just gonna put a little sunshine in there and uh, you know as like a children's little drawing sun is usually yellow and uh, might go with a blue sky and just um, kind of blend that in a little bit make it a happy environment for this little soul dogs have souls too and I really believe that they've been put on this earth for us to have a friend and I've been through so many um, trials in my life and where's my little blender I lost my blender that's terrible isn't it I'm gonna have to use my finger and um, and I I had my little girl there for years looking after me you know I look after her now but she's old and pretty frail she can't even go up the stairs by herself so every time <clears throat> I take her outside to you know go to the toilet I have to take her down the, the three steps and then bring her back up it's just what you do for your friend and that's what she is she's she's my friend she's my best friend she was always there when I had when I had my um sad and lonely nights she was there you know cuddling up with me trying to make me laugh trying to play she was always there so I'm very grateful very grateful and I'm gonna try tonight before I go to bed just to send some really positive energy and you can do that too all you have to do is put yourself in a real calm state and um, um, release all your your anger, all your issues, and and everything like that. So there's nothing, nothing um, that's uh, that's kind of uh, that's going to go up there a bit. So there's no negativity. 
you know the sun's shining that way so the shadow will be on this side and here so I'm just doing that right now putting a shadow in here so some hills and things like that mountains so you can do that you can relax yourself put yourself in a beautiful beautiful state where you can send some really really cool cool um, energy out there and just send blessings to these beautiful beings and not just um, dogs and cats and things like that just anything anyone really you can do that it's amazing what you can do it's amazing how connected we we all can be really through our minds because the energy has no limits it travels across the world and beyond it's quite a spiritual experience now I remember when I was studying art therapy and we had this um, exercise where we all had to do this and kind of experience um, this together and um, we each had to imagine a person and bless that person and just visualize that person <coughs> so what I did at the time I was married and I, I imagined um, my husband at the time and uh, sent blessings and all that kind of stuff and then when we got home um, I asked him how his day was and he said he had some issues and he had some problems and things and he said um, but around he says around 12 o'clock which was a, around the time where we did when we did this meditation he says I just felt so calm and he says I felt um, very very settled and I could really think and make some good decisions because he was a manager at a big company and and I knew like I said to him well that was me I did that you know I send my energy so you can do that we can all do that and it's a good practice to do that every night before you go to bed because I think night time um, you have a better chance of, of, uh, of doing stuff like that because you know your day is over and uh, kids have been put to sleep you had your dinner whatever so you've got a better chance of, of doing that it's um, just a, a good time to do these things either first thing in the morning before you start your day or at night when you're ready to to retire might get put a little bit of water down here maybe we'll get a little river happening just down here trying to create a really nice natural kind of environment a little bit of river and going up here as well and then um, my pencil my pen might just get some more a couple of more dogs in here um, maybe just here because this one looks a little bit lonely like I said not the best drawer <laughs> just expressing at the moment Go back that way a bit more. And when you do these uh, little art journals, it's your own little art therapy session, you know. And um, don't be too judgmental of of how you know how it looks. But, you know even little shapes like this you can tell that that's a dog oh I found my little blender blending stick um you can tell that that's a dog 
so okay it's um it's a little dog there's a tail and all that kind of stuff it's, it's all there might just put a little bit of color on them make this one a brown dog give him a little bit of color And just blend it in with your fingers which is the easiest way really and this one can be kind of like uh, what color am I going to use do I have a black make it a black dog or maybe a grey dog it can be grey. It can be like um, a little um, blue cattle dog, maybe. There he is. Maybe just um, not the prettiest. I could do it. Like I've I've painted animals before, but like I said, this is just something to just remind me of this day on my finger, and um, and know what this is all about. Now let's just put some houses there. Maybe some trees actually first. Put a little tree here, like so. some branches happening put another tree there I've done many trees in my life this is just a little outline maybe a couple more here you can tell that they're kind of in a distance maybe put a little house here because these dogs have a home and they're just wandering about a door some windows maybe a little a big sliding door here very simple Just try and create an environment here, you know, trying to bring some positivity and I can tell you one thing, I already feel better and uh, art therapy is just an amazing way to get some clarity and also to, to calm you down, relax you and uh, and get your set up for the day and that's what we want to do that's what we're trying to do anyway okay not the previous thing like I said and I'm kind of like rushing and hurrying at the moment I want to add some more of the yellowish kind of coloring in here just because I, I really feel that yellow at the moment is it's speaking to me in some way it's a real natural color maybe some brown for the trees and because it's winter here in Australia um, a lot of the trees are pretty bare but of course we do have the evergreen trees which which do have uh, some color so 
so there you have it I am just going to leave it at this I don't want to make it pretty I could go ahead and, and start shading things but I won't um, it's just for the sake of this video it's not an actual art piece just um, just an expression of how I'm feeling and how I'm trying to make myself feel. <coughs> Excuse me. And at this moment, I feel much better. I feel much, much better. And, you know, thank you so much for watching. Do leave me a comment. And I hope you don't get upset with me for getting a little bit emotional. But, um couple of birds um, it's just I'm human you know just like everybody else is and this is my way of expressing myself so I hope you don't get too upset with me but um, just uh, putting a little country kind of gate um, fence kind of thing in here and maybe one more tree you can keep going really add more things to it I'm much better at painting than drawing to be honest adding some shadows to the trees And that's it. I will just love you and leave you now. And thank you all for being patient and watching this video. And you have, if you have anything to say, don't be shy. Say something. Open up. And um, you are quite welcome and free to express your feelings and emotions on my channel about whatever whatever and also if there's anything else that you would like me to talk about or you know do a bit of a brainstorm just let me know i'm here for you we all share similar thoughts and emotions so it should be interesting okay this is it for now i will love you and leave you and I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.